Welcome back everyone to another video and today we are going to be trying to get every platinum trophy in the Outlast series. I'm going to try and 100% complete Outlast 1 and then I'm going to try and 100% complete Outlast 2 and then I'm going to try and 100% complete Outlast Trials which just came out on PlayStation quite recently. But here's the catch about the Outlast games. They are very, very difficult. So you're probably wondering why on earth is Outlast so difficult? Well, there are trophies tied to permadeath runs and I've never actually tried a permadeath run but I can imagine it'll be very, very infuriating. To sum it up, we have to play through Outlast 1 on the hardest difficulty and if I die, I go all the way back to the start. Oh and by the way, I've had the genius idea of playing through Outlast for the first time on Insane. I'm gonna try and get Insane mode done off the rip. That sounds very, very stupid. And it probably is, but I kind of want to just get the hard part out of the way first. So without further ado, it is time to tackle Outlast 1. And let's see what this insane mode is all about. Let's see what this permanent mode is all about. <laughs> I'm actually shitting it now, like. Why are we going in here? Raise your camcorder. Do you saw at the window? Oh my god. Did you see that? Give it a little wiggle for me. Give it a little... Oh. No, it's locked. Brilliant. That's a good start. We'll try the left hand side. It must be over here, right? Where we can get in. Oh, yes. Thank you to whoever bashed this gate with a big knob. Why is the music starting? What the fuck is that, bro? That's when you know shit's about to hit the fan. Jump. Right. Among Us! I know you're trying to scare me, but it's not gonna work. Okay, we find a way in. Right. Let's go for it then. <laughs> Beefy Bart is on the building. Uh, hello? Huh? <gasps> what? There's someone in the bog? Are you having a poo? Can I come in, miss? Or sir? Why the. Hybrid bathrooms? What's that about? If I see movement. I do? Oh, that's a light, a fan or something. Li oh, library. Let me squeeze on through here. <laughs> what are you doing then? What are you doing? <laughs> right, slow and steady wins the race. You'll do nothing. You're a little fool. No! Get down, get down, and stay down. Oh my. <laughs> Nah, f*** that, bro. Ah! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah! Ah! Yeah, we're back to start. That's what Insane Mode is all about. Now, riddle me this, sunshine. How does one avoid this big brute? I did take a look around me there, and there's no other way out. But maybe I just didn't see. Oh, I just gotta react quicker, like... There's, there's gotta be some other, like, vent or something to get out of there. Hmm. So here's my second attempt. I made it back to the place I died and realized there was a locker for me to hide in. Once the brute came in and turned his back to me, I sprinted away down the stairs towards the generator. I had to find two buttons to push, but when I went into the room with the second button, someone followed me in there. I tried hiding, but it was too late. He attacked me and I tried running, but I just ran into a dead end and he killed me. And I was sent back to the start once again. Great. With the next attempt, I successfully pushed both of the buttons and hid under the bed. Then I waited for him to come in to check the room and then he left again. Once he left, I dipped out, made it to the power switch, turned that on and hit again after struggling to find a locker. At least I found a locker though. And once I thought it was safe, I bolted out of there and tried to get to the generator. But of course, since I have no idea where I'm going, I ran into a dead end and the guy came in and found me. Get out! Right, I've made it to the point where I've turned on both the buttons. All I've got to do is go and hit the main machine and then run back up these stairs. I think I know where I'm going, right? So that right there, that's all I've got to do is run up and press that, then come in here, run up the stairs. This is going to be very risky. Ah well, I'll just go for it. Jump. Right, what's that? Illuminated. Restore power to the administrative block. We have got our first trophy of Outlast, my friends. 
Now I've got to successfully get back up them stairs before this guy catches me. Easy. Easy as you like. No. 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 Run. Run. Just keep running. Ledge. Bro, should I be doing this without a guide now? Because I'm far in. Holy shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Follow the blood. Sweet. Um... No. No, 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 no. You can't know. There's no way you know. He's checking. He's checking lockers. Go, go, go. He would have exposed me. Pop that. Do I go in here? This is the same place, right? That was too close. Are you gonna grab me as well? You actually will, dickhead. No. No. GG's. 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 Get in! Miser Box is here. So much fucking progress on the fucking drain. So I took a break after that and then headed back into the danger soon after. And quickly enough, I got back to the sewers. This time I managed to sneak past the guy to turn on one of the valves to then drain the sewer. I hid in the locker and when he came in and checked the locker beside me, I bolted out of there and he chased me to the second valve location. I squeezed through some rubble and he couldn't get me from this point onwards, so I was in the clear. I found the second valve, and once I turned it, I got the trophy for draining the sewers. I had another risky challenge later on, which required me to turn on the sprinklers in the male ward. But of course, one of the big brutes was lurking about, so I had to make sure he wasn't there when I was going for this switch. I managed to get in there, turn on the sprinklers, and got out again, popping the trophy, for doing just that. So I got about 40 minutes into the game <laughs> and things were going very well until I got to a very dark chapter. I was very keen on saving batteries so I was only using night vision when I really needed it and I was just strolling through an area in the dark when from out of nowhere I got attacked and died. So yeah I went back to the start again. All right I've got back up to the point where I've died but this time how do you play this game again? Ah oh, yes, this time it's gonna be different. Right, so, okay. All people are saying for me to do is to keep to the right and the guy won't detect me. I'm also gonna book it as well. I'm not gonna like try and be all sneaky. I'm gonna book it and get to where we gotta get to. Okay. Where am I? I hear him. Same shit every time. Oh, keep to the right and he won't detect you. I promise. Do you by fuck? After a few more unsuccessful attempts, like that one there, I decided enough was enough. First of all, I left my camera on the whole time, not caring about how much battery I was using. Secondly, I stuck as far right as possible. And thirdly, I ran as fast as possible. And sure enough, I actually made it across Without being seen, I hopped up onto the ledge, and that was it. I finally made it. We headed into the female ward, and this part actually broke my heart. So we had to pick up three fuses, and after I picked up my second fuse, I ran straight into the enemy. Luckily though, this enemy needs two hits on me to kill me, so we got his first one, and then I should have been fine, but here is where things went so badly wrong and it could have been so avoided with ease. After taking that first hit, all I had to do was to shut the door to block the enemy from getting the second hit, but here is where the game messed up. My character shut the door 
on the wrong side. So it locked me in the same place with the enemy. What? So yeah, I somehow ended up on the wrong side of the door and the enemy got a second hit on me and I died. Like... I eventually made it back to the female ward and successfully picked up the three fuses this time. All I had to do was place the fuses in the fuse box, but to do that I had to get past the enemy. However, every time I left the room, I ran into him and had to bolt it straight back to a locker. I even hid in a locker for a long ass time to make sure that he was just nowhere near me and he passed away. And that led to this moment right here. Let's go. There's no ways here. I left it ages. Like, why? Why? Why not screw this? There's no point in hiding. There's no point. He's not gonna leave this area. I swear to God, like, I'm hiding in that, lo in that locker for ages. And I just keep running in. He's a two hit anyway. Did you actually not see me? Yeah, check the locker. <laughs> Fucking hell, he's fast, isn't he? <laughs> Where even is the fuse box? Oh, it's there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I need some safety. Oh, shit. Number five. Okay, we're on the good side now. All I've got to do is place the fuses in that fuse box, hit a button, and then get back out here. I know we're so deep into the game, but we still got to take risks. All right, let's go for it. I heard him. He's laughing at me. He's busting the door down. No! I didn't flip the switch. I should have done. But I heard him. This is so risky now. He's gonna run at me, isn't he? He's gonna be right behind that door. That he busted down. Right, go. Go. Okay, now I just do this. And... Boom. And I got a trophy. Once I got past that, it wasn't long until I had my final chase and my final objective. I am this close to completing Outlast on insane difficulty. All I've got to do is beat a chase, hit a button, and we're done. Y'all got a ghost on me. If he catches me, it's over. This is meant to happen. No way. What did I do? God. Wait, I spent a lot of time escaping the asylum just to die anyway. I just got mowed down. Oh my god. Oh my god. We actually did it. Punished for just finishing the game, and then... Lunatic! For finishing the game in insane mode. It's been done after all that stress. The last thing I had to do in Outlast 1 was simply to get all of the collectibles. These were either <laughs> documents that I had to pick up, or significant events that I had to record. To make this easy and quick, I just followed a guide, and when I got to the burning cafeteria, there was a guy rambling on, and after I filmed him doing that, I got a trophy for collecting 15 documents and completing 15 
recordings. I went through the game collecting everything until I made it to the final section of the game where my last collectible was there waiting for me. All I had to do was whip out my camera and record the big red ball thing and boom there we have it. A gold trophy for collecting all of the documents and completing all of the recordings and that means we have officially 100%ed Outlast. It's now time to move on to the Whistleblower DLC. I made the very smart decision once again to play on insane difficulty for my first run because like the main game there is a gold trophy for completing insane and I just wanted to get it over and done with. So the first objective was to turn off the gas and while I was on my way to doing that I encountered a guy that was pretty dangerous. So I looped him around a room and then headed out and made my way to the gas valve and turned it off and bang there was the first trophy of the Whistleblower DLC. Shortly after this, I made my way through the courtyard to some underground place that had a power switch. Once I went up to it and flipped it, we got our second trophy for turning off the electricity. Now, I'm not gonna lie, boys and girls, I had no trouble whatsoever for the rest of this game. I made my way through to the end, no problem, so I've gotta admit, the Whistleblower DLC, insane mode, is pretty easy. The last thing I had to do was hit upload to upload something very serious, and boom! I got the trophy for completing the Whistleblower DLC and a gold trophy for completing the DLC on Insane Mode. The last step for Whistleblower was simply to get all of the collectibles, which is exactly the same as Outlast 1. I had to collect a bunch of documents for a trophy and I had to record a bunch of things for a trophy. And we ended off by filming this guy at the door. So that's it then for Outlast 1 and the Whistleblower DLC. It has been completed. Now it's time for the ultimate challenge, Outlast 2. All right, so here we go with Outlast 2, the hardest game of the franchise. But this time around, I'm gonna be smart about this. I am not gonna dive into the game on the life simulator insane mode. I'm not gonna do that this time. This game seems like it's gonna be way too challenging to to do insane first. I want to get to know the, the game, get to know the enemies, so that I can maybe have an easier time on insane later on. Oh say, Amanda, grab my hand, grab my hand. Ah, 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 ah. What an intro! Oh my god, what an intro! There's a bun! Okay, now it's getting a bit dark. I see the light. It's shining ever so bright. Ah! Where am I? Oh. oh god, Blake. Are you okay? Is that you? No. From a plane? Fuck. I don't know. It is? We have to run. There. Okay, let's go. At least we find the woman then. What about the pilot? Yo, she's slime! Ah! <gasps> What God has joined? Look at that first trophy on the board for Outlast 2 for simply finding Lynn. Alright, first objective has been completed. Alright, so I'm going to fly through the rest of these story trophies to save some time. So we eventually reached a point where we saw some mines in the distance and that unlocked us a trophy. Then I ran into a bunch of lonely fellas that then crucified me, which was just fantastic. They literally nailed me to a cross. But luckily, I made my escape when they were away for a wee smoke break, and that unlocked me a trophy. Eventually, I ended up in another sticky situation and had to escape these creatures that were after me. They spotted me when I was trying to be sneaky, so I made a run for it and got to a shack and then tried to rope my way down, but they caught up to me and buggered the rope and we all went flying. Then the trophy popped for escaping the scalad. Later on, I was running and it started raining blood, which wasn't good because doesn't that signal the end of the world or something? I don't know. Anyway, I reached the mine facility, which unlocked a trophy. I then found the elevator to the mines, which was descending at an insane speed, so that was kind of scary. However, it stopped, and I crawled my way out and made it into the mines. We got a silver trophy for descending into the mines. Soon after that, I made it to the end of the game, and just watch what happened here. This is crazy. Bye. Bye. Ah. Ah. Right, what the hell is going on? Oh, God. oh, here we go. What's this? Revelations for witnessing the end. Watchful savior, wash away. All I've been wrong today. Help me every day to be 
Gentle, gentle, more like the. Oh, born again, what's this? Finish the game, oh, so we've officially done it. That is how Outlast 2 comes to an end. So my next goal was to play the game again, but this time on the easiest difficulty, so that I could beat it in under four hours for a trophy. And also, I can beat the game without hiding in a barrel or a closet for a gold trophy. And as to be expected, I blitzed through the game with no problem whatsoever, and made it to the end once again, unlocking both of them trophies. I also feel pretty confident for my insane run, because I've played through the game twice, and I pretty much know what's coming. Right? We'll see how that goes though. On my first attempt, I got about 25 minutes in and was hiding from someone. Unfortunately, he spotted me, so I had to run for it. But of course, there was another guy in my way, so all I could do was try and juke him, but that didn't work and I died. With the second attempt, I made it further up to the point where I had to push a cart to hop a fence, but Marta was on me and she is a one hit deal. So I had to be very careful here, except I couldn't really be careful. I just had to be risky and I hoped that that would pay off, but it didn't. So I took my time pushing the cart and just slid through the hole when she came on me. Why did I say it like that? And repeated that kind of strategy. Except when she was on me during one of these strats, I went to slide through the hole and she just caught me. So I was screwed. All right, we're back at the cart once again. This time... I'm gonna take her down. I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. I can't run that much. So I just gotta preserve my thing. Now screw the hole, I'm not doing the hole. Look, we can, we can make it to a bar, all right? Okay, now go left. Okay, now go in here. She lost shears. Now she'll smash through the fence. Or not. I messed up responding. Oh my god, you can't do anything. Loop her around. Oh my god, I've looped her around a couple of barrels. Slide, please. Yeah, just lie down. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's, that's amazing, yeah. Right, we're fine. Just hide here, hide here. And recover. Right, wait. <laughs> right, I'm back here at the cart again, and this time, I'm... Okay, then what? Who are you? You're not meant to be getting involved in this beef. But yeah, I'm going for a different strategy. I'm not sticking to the hole. People are saying that that's the best strategy. Actually, piss off. You gotta be joking me. You actually gotta be joking me. Wait for it. No. Okay. We will have barrels to hide in. How fast is she though? Pretty fast. I'll go left and just go around. Gotta watch my exhaustion though. Might go for the cart. No, she's right on me. Fucking hell. Slide. Get up, you fucking dick. I was gonna slide that was. Right, there's, there's barrels right here I'll hide in. I might get exhausted though. Fuck me. Just get in here. No, it's not. Get in, get in, get in. Any time today, mate. Fuck. Right. Okay, so we got a bit of progress on the cart. And if we can just reset and go again. I'll wait a while, though, because... I, I don't really know where she is now, to be honest. Can I just say, I'm, I, I don't understand the slide mechanic, by the way. I just don't get... You're taking the fucking piss, mate. You're taking the fucking piss. Yeah, bugger off. There's no way you know I'm here. Jesus Christ. I thought she was gonna rip the lid off and just yoink me out. I'm hopping out, lads. I'm hopping out. If she gets on me, I'll just run around again. It's fine. I got plenty of stamina, you know? <laughs> oh my fucking god! I have actually done a poo in my pants. Right, make it this time. Just hide in the barrel again. Is she on me? I don't know, my controller's vibrating, but I, I don't know, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, are you joking? I'm exhausted as well. <laughs> Please, you fucking fuck. You stupid bitch!
This game makes no fucking sense. This game makes no fucking sense. First of all, if my fucking character didn't have the stamina of a fat granny, we would be okay. But no! It's just what you're, you're, it's a life and death situation. You're like, I'm in a breath. Just get a grip! Seriously? Are you that out of shape? Second of all, how on earth does she just teleport like that? That makes no sense. She's, she's here and then I run away and then she's there. Like, it, I, I, oh, I, I don't think I can fucking get past this shit. Oh, we have to sit through these cut. I'm sorry, but was it, it was it too much of a hassle just to add a skip cutscene button, please? Like, I don't want to. Oh my, I can't watch this shit over and over again. It takes so long. Like, I just want to go. Just get me back in there. All right, it's getting very jarring playing the same, the same stuff over and over again. Why are you already here? You see, like, just what even is that? What? I, I didn't even get any push. I, I didn't push it once this time. I... Shall I do the whole technique? Let's do it. The guy in the guide said once she walks past like that, you're fine, so. We're fine. Just go for it. I'll take that, you know? Oh no, I've bossed it. I've bossed it again. No, she knows I'm here. Don't be a dick. <laughs> You weren't going that way. You weren't going that way. Let's not lie. You were going that way, so I went this way. Then the game just shoots you. Like, it's just... Uh... Just make the slide. Okay, now she should come over there. Yes. Hurry up, you dick. My... I hate this game! I'm pressing circle at the hole! Okay? Not out here! Why am I sliding? I'm off, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. Yeah, no, I'm getting off. It's just different. It's different roles for me, apparently. Because everyone in the guides can do this with ease, but me? No! I get fucked from all angles! Well, I'm sick of it! All the way? There's no way. You fucking bitch! How, how close is she? Oh, we made distance. Oh, we made distance. Right, I'm gonna loop right here. Get to the barrels, get to the barrels, get to the barrels, get to the barrels, get to the barrels. Get to the barrels, get to the barrels, get in, 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 get in. Do you reckon I can just jump out and run? Go. I'm actually very confident that this is the one. I've learned from my mistakes now. I know what to do like this. Let's just get it done, right? This is the one. I've been here for hours. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, so that's fine. Should we own in there real good? See ya, bye. Now she go over there. Mm -hmm. Marta. Run! It's dodgy game! It's dog water controls! Sick of it! Right, go hold, go hold. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's what I should have done last time. Just use the hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're going all the way. Get up, you flip. Run! Like. No, she's on me, isn't she? No? Okay, well. Now she's gonna be? Can I make that, please? She's so flipping close. Right, one more loop, one more loop, one. Go. Hole. Hole! Any hole is a goal! This is it. This is it. This is how it's done. This is how it's done. Any money I make us. Right. Yeah, we're safe. Yep, go. Hop here. And we're through. Let's go. Oh my god. We're actually through to the other side. That was easy. Once I learned 
what to do exactly. So after that cart part, I had no problems and made it more than halfway to the end. Now, I had to make a jump, and you would think that this is easy enough, but I was absolutely pooing myself, because obviously if I miss this jump, then it's all over. And guess what? I missed the jump. Apparently I just went too far to the left, and bollocks it. On my next attempt, I made it back to the jump with pretty much no problem again because I got everything else down to a T now, but the pressure was still on. I aimed in the middle and stayed as in the middle as possible and just went for it, and thankfully, I made it this time. Unfortunately though, right after that, I ran into a guy while trying to pick up a rope, and he was a two hit, so he hit me once, and I was like, cool, I'll just start running. Except I couldn't, because I was stuck on God knows what. Like, so I made it back to the rope part once again on the next attempt, and this time, on my way down, that guy wasn't there. So I was clear to pick up the rope and then run back to the hut, and this was so scary, because I was just winging it here and just hoping for the best. But thankfully, I did not run close enough to any of the enemies to get hit, and I also didn't get hit by the arrows that were being fired at me. So what a relief that was to get past that part. Eventually, I made it to one of the hardest parts of the game, the library. At this point, I'm like an hour and 45 minutes deep, and I cannot die this far in. So I was looking at a guide here to make sure that I wouldn't make a wrong turn, because you have to get through this library maze while a demon is chasing you. Here's the thing though, I made a wrong turn. When I realized this, I pretty much just shot myself there and then, but somehow I managed to actually make it out before he caught me. I was making wrong turns, going into dead ends, but I still made it out. So, maybe the library isn't actually that bad. The only problem was here is that I was using so much of my battery to just get through this, and obviously I can't reload my battery, so we'll see how that goes. So I made it to the mines, and we had a pretty simple chase scene here. All I had to do was crawl my way through some caves, and then I had to make sure that I turned right once I got out of these caves, to get to the next part of the game. But here is where things go very, very wrong. Since I was very focused on saving my camera battery, I got a bit lost. When I exited the wee cave and went to turn right, I got confused. I got so confused to the point where I turned back into the Malfoy. And she killed me. After that heartbreaking defeat, I was actually still feeling motivated to get this done, so I went straight back into it and made it all the way back to that chase scene in the mines. And this time, I made sure that I was using my battery, because I had enough left and I was like, I am not making a wrong turn here, so I kept my camera battery on to make sure that I did not get stuck or go the wrong way again. And this time around, I successfully made it through the chase scene to safety. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am proud to say that on this same run, I made it to the final chase sequence. If I get past this, there are no more places where I can die. Beating this guarantees my success. However, I had a problem. When the chase started, I turned around to make sure that Marta, who is the one that's on us by the way, I had to make sure that she was coming the right way, except she wasn't there. So, so I'm sitting here thinking, <laughs> Hang on here a second, I I'm watching the guide, right? And he, he has her coming from this way. But, but I, I don't. She, she doesn't come through the door. So I'm like, okay, hold on here a second. What is about to go down here? This is the last chase, this is the last part where I can die. And I've lost sight of her. So I have to just pause the game here and use my brain to think this through. There's only two doorways at this starting part of the chase. She wasn't coming through the doorway that I expected, so she must be going towards the other doorway. So I'm like, okay, just, you know, prepare myself, unpause the game, and went through the doorway, which I thought she was gonna come through, and then turned around to see that she did go through that other doorway, and she was getting pretty close to catching me. But after getting through that part, it was all the same. I could then follow the guide and I was, you know, pausing and unpausing the game every second to make sure that I wasn't going to make a wrong turn here because I am not ending this run over making a wrong turn at the last part, come on. So thankfully, I did not make any wrong turns and I made it through to the end of this chase and Marta was obliterated for the final time. And that feeling 
of just pure relief. It's something I don't think I've really experienced when playing a game before. Because there was so much stress and effort and dedication put into this. Watchful savior, wash away all I've been wrong to Here it comes. Help me every day to be gentle, gentle, more like thee. So this is for finishing the game in insane mode. But the extra, even tougher trophy. Messiah. Finish the game in insane mode without reloading the camera battery. We actually did it. What's this? Oh yeah! I haven't done the other modes as well, so I'll actually unlock Nightmare and Hard as well. So there's one for Nightmare. <laughs> All the golds! This one's for Hard mode, and that should be it now, but what a satisfying selection of trophies right there. So my next step was to play through the game again, yes! But this time it was to find all the collectibles. These are the same as the first game, so there's documents that you pick up and events that you record with your camera. And once I picked up 40 documents, I got a trophy. Once I completed 30 recordings, I got a trophy. Eventually we made it all the way to the mines again where we picked up our final document for a nice chunky goal trophy. And then we made it to the final part of the game once again to do the final recording. And boom, there's another gold trophy for completing all recordings. All that was left for Outlast 2 was a few simple but boring trophies, such as spending 10 minutes underwater, crawling for 500 meters, and using the microphone on the camera for 20 minutes. All right, so that brings us to the last trophy that we've got to get to unlock Outlast 2's Platinum. And we are here in the school, and there's sprinklers sprinkling out blood. And what we've got to do is perform a 12 meter blood slide, okay? Should be easy enough, just gonna run through the blood, slide through it, and we'll get the platinum. All right, can we do it in this first hallway? Let's see. Run, 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 run. Get some stamina, get some speed, and then slide. Oh! Just like that. Just like that, we get a slip and slide. And there is the 100%, so I can't believe we've actually done this. But we're about to platinum out last two. It's done. Let's see it. Oh, they potent! I can't believe it. I cannot believe we actually stuck through that platinum and got it done. That is easily my hardest platinum I've achieved. So that brings us to the last Outlast game there is and the last platinum we need to get, the Outlast Trials. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I know it's a different experience. It's mainly meant for co-op, right? But people said you can still do it solo, which is what I'm going to do. So here we go. All right, so the only step to getting the Platinum Trophy for Outlast Trials is to unlock all of the badges because that's all there is with the trophies. Unlock every badge. I started cracking through the trials and it took a while before I got my first trophy, but when I did, it was for crouching for 3,600 seconds. And then shortly after that, I got my next trophy for simply running for 3,600 seconds. I also went sliding for a total of 120 seconds for another trophy. And you can see the general idea of this platinum grind here. It's pretty much just miscellaneous activities. I noticed that there was a badge for hiding in 100 hiding spots, and I decided to get this done quickly by jumping in and out of the same hiding spot 100 times. Nice sweet cheeky way to boost that trophy if you want to get it done quickly, like I did. There's actually a badge for completing 25 trials, and I played most of these with randoms, which actually made the game more fun, to be honest. And for my 25th trial, I had to collect heads and give them to this statue to then tilt the scales. Once we gave her four heads, we were able to leave the trial, and we got the nice gold trophy for completing 25 trials. During this same trial, I collected my 15th piece of evidence, which also gave us a gold trophy. And this is just like collectibles from the other Outlast games. Just they're scattered around the place and you'll find 15 eventually. Now in Outlast Trials, you have options to stop enemies from attacking you. You can throw bottles at them and you can throw bricks at them. And there's a trophy for getting 50 headshots on enemies. So I was always making sure to aim at the head when throwing stuff. So I got that trophy done pretty quickly as well. 
as what else are you calling hiding spots you see i'm just i'm using wee methods here to try and get some trophies done ASAP. Besides from the bottles and the bricks, you can also stop enemies by using your rig, which is a special ability. I used the stun rig, which was very effective, and this obviously stuns the enemies. And when I did that a hundred times, I got the Makano La Filia trophy. Another goal one, nice. Now something that can really mess with you in our last trials is getting put into psychosis by either setting off traps or getting sprayed by this toxic spray stuff from a certain enemy. But if you stay in full psychosis for 600 seconds, you get a trophy. There's also a trophy for simply hitting 100 enemies with throwables, which was a fun one to do, I will admit. Just chucking bottles and bricks at enemies. Oh, I love it. And there's also a trophy for using 100 batteries. These batteries just simply recharge your night vision, just like they did in the other Outlast games. A pretty core element of Outlast that came back into Outlast Trials. There's a lot of locked doors in Outlast Trials, which is fine because you can just bash through them and knock them down. And once you do that 50 times, you get a trophy for doing that 50 times. So we all know that you can use bottles and bricks to throw straight at enemies to stop them from pouncing on your ways, but you can also use them as distractions. If you toss a bottle somewhere close enough to the enemy, but in a certain direction, they'll look in that direction and be like, oh, who's over there? And that counts as a distraction. Once I did that 50 times, I got a trophy. Now, unfortunately, since this game is a heavily co-op based game, there are a few co-op based trophies. One of which is to perform 50 co-op actions, which is mainly just helping each other climb things. I got this pretty quickly because there are a lot of co-op actions within the trials. And since I've played a lot of games with randoms, they just stacked up pretty quickly. Luckily, someone on PSN profiles was trying to get the other co-op trophies, and the other ones are definitely ones that you can't just get quickly, so if you're doing it solo, it's going to take a long ass time, which is why I made a decision to try and find someone that was trying to get them done as well, and luckily, I did! I actually found someone on PSN profiles, it's the first time I've ever looked for a gaming session on there. So we spent an entire Saturday afternoon and pretty much evening as well. I was trying to watch some boxing Super Soul Pappy that day. And we were just trying to bust out these co-op trophies in time. Oh, they were so tedious. The first one we went for was a trophy to get knocked down 50 times. I just went down on purpose by hitting the red zone of the lockpick minigame. And my guy from PSM Profiles was there to pick me up. So we just did this time and time again until I went down 50 times. I also lost 10,000 health points by doing this, which unlocked another trophy. We then swapped roles so that he could get the trophy for going down 50 times, and I could get the trophy for reviving a player 50 times. Another pretty tough one was to kick 50 enemies, but we made this one pretty simple by just aggravating one enemy and taking it in turns to kick him. We did lose a lot of health, so we had to go and get health potions in between the kicking, but it still didn't take long to get them 50 kicks. And that was actually it for the co-op trophies, which meant it was time to get back to the solo grind. One of my remaining trophies that I could go for solely was to get 50 adrenalines and inject them into my veins. Oh, you wanna do a wee arm wrestle, do you? Angelio, all right, let's go. Is this a wee cool thing you can do while waiting for trials? You <laughs> If you hit them white zones, you've won. And then from here... Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Clean sweep. I am a dead by daylight veteran, by the way, so skill checks ain't no problem for a guy like me. I've spat everywhere. But yeah, it's a fun wee minigame, isn't it? You know, someone else come down. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Out, dragon. Let's go. It's time for you to meet your demise. So yeah, if, if there's no white ones, you gotta hit the darker ones to get the best points. But I don't miss. Shit. He's actually start, he's starting to... He's hitting white ones. So am I though. Bring it back. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Alright, so we are getting very close to this platinum, my friends. And we're at the stage where... It's just a boring grind. It really is. The game is fun, don't get me wrong, but for what we've got to do, 
to get the platinum. It's it's a bit tedious now. So we have just under 50 containers to unlock with lock picks. We gotta consume quite a few medicines. We gotta use only eight more antidotes. That one's pretty close, that's good. Disarm one more door trap. The we army trap doors. I've got a few rig rechargers to use still and they're kind of hard to come by so that's a bit annoying. And this is the longest thing of all because you've got to spend 36,000 seconds in night vision. That's 10 hours in real time. We don't have that many more items to collect which is good to get to 1,000. And last but not least, we only got to do one more trial without taking damage, right? And there's a good trial to do this, and I'm gonna get this on right now because I might as well. That's a gold trophy as well. Look at that there! Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> if we just do sabotage the lockdown, then it's very easy to get through this trial without taking a hit. Because it's very straightforward, very short, and there's only one real objective. Get to the other side of the map. Well, what's really important that thing, sir? You going to take someone's head clean off its shoulders? I've had it with you! Oh, look at this! We actually have a door to disarm, and that is my last one to get. The beautiful trophy known as... Trigger Happy! And it's bronze. Where are your trousers? Missus! You've got a burnt puss! Are you aware of that? Right, bash this. Oh no, he hears it. Right. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just... Keep going. The objective is right here. No, no. Stay in the darkness, stay in the darkness. It's right here. He won't see us if we're in the darkness and just stand quiet, okay? <gasps> Two hours later. Oh my god, he's here. I just got my stun back though. Bonk! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, there it is. Can't touch this beautiful gold trophy for doing 10 no hit runs. Not you! Get out! I am sick of you! <laughs> yes! Boom! Number 10. Suck it, suck it. There we go. All right, and look at that. 100 is right here. So if I get one more trap, then I will get this trophy right here, right now, right here, right now. House time is any time, at any time. It's house. Do 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 do. Oh yes! Right, pop that. Ready, ready, ready for the suck, suck. The gluck, gluck. The duck, duck. The quack, quack. Sucky, sucky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go under the door. Saying hello, dear more. Yeah! And I hit my hat. Breathe in! A silver one as well, which brings us to 85%. We are getting so close, my friend. We are getting so close! <laughs> Alright, so after quite some time of collecting as many items as I could, we finally got the trophy for collecting 1,000 items. And we also finally got the trophy for spending 36,000 seconds in night vision. Alright, boys and girls, we are in prime position to dominate this platinum. We can pop this right here, right now, because we only have three more containers, one more medicine to consume, and one more rig recharger to use. That's nothing. We're pretty much done. Right, come on. I'm here, I'm right here. All right, hit me. Come on, hit me. Like the one time I want you to, there we go. Okay. Like, no! You've locked me in with a psychopath! No! I've got to retreat, I've got to retreat. Pop the fence. Get out the door and the RDA4. Close that. Right, pop the medicine, get a trophy. Right, hypochondriac, there we go. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, nice. We'll do this one then. This is indeed our last one, so. We shall see the trophy known as Peter Pan's penis. Oh, no! There we go. There we go. Open it. There it is confirmed, sleight of hand. But that leaves us with one more trophy, my friends. We just need one rig recharger to get the platinum. So if I get a rig recharger in this toolbox, we can platinum this game right here, right now, and be done with the Outlast series. Let's go. It actually gave me one of them. All right, here we go. It's time to recharge the rig and get the platinum trophy. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, shit. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Yes! Toastmaster, all right. That's all the badge done, 100%. And the elusive, the luscious, the luxurious Outlast Trials Platinum Trophy. Let's see it. Let's hear it. Piss off. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.